Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can visualize or actually how you can create a calculation to visualize the difference of one category with the rest of the other categories. So I will show you in a minute uh, in a proper way or in a in a Power BI as to what, what does this really mean but uh, this is one of those tricky scenarios where you know your user may want to see let's say you have one category uh, of month july which you want to find a difference or you want to create a difference with the rest of the category that means difference between july and jan difference between july and december so on and so forth okay so if this is what scenario uh, you may want to solve then this video is for you and before i show you uh, this this quick way of doing this just a quick information that this sheet which is a live sheet where I am keeping all of my videos uh, is, is present in the description. You can quickly search and find the video that you want or you can keep it as your learning path or you can even create your own learning path you know based on where you want to start or what type of thing you are trying to learn. And the video link is present here as you can see in column B. So you can jump quickly on the on a given video and I will keep on maintaining this. So all the future videos will be populated here. So keep it as the bookmark so that whenever you need it, it is with you in your Power BI learning library. All right, so let's go to Power BI. So here we are in the Power BI. And as I was saying, this is a chart which is showing you Jan, Feb, all of this uh, chart values. And now what do we want to create is, let's say, as I was mentioning, we want to find a difference between January and July, Jan and August, Jan and March, that means all the other categories in comparison with July. So to do that, as you can see, what I have done is I have configured the chart based on the month and sales. And within the sales, you have this drop down. Here, you need to come to a quick measure. And within the quick measure, you have these ready, readily made or ready made uh, calculations difference from filtered value, right? So once you click on this different from filtered value, it will show you the base value is the sum of sales and the blank. How do you want to handle the blank like produce blanks or treat as zero in the calculation. So uh, if you want uh, any of the one option you can choose, I will right now going with the default. Now the filter is on the uh, month filter. So now I can go ahead and choose what do I want? So I wanted July. I will just keep July. Come out and click OK. So once I click OK, it will start doing the processing and will take just a couple of seconds to create a new field, which is sales difference from July, right? So as you can see, what it is doing is it is giving everything what you need. That means the difference between July and Jan. That means uh, July value is obviously more so negative value is being produced for Feb negative value but in March a positive value. So how much is the positive value is also what you are getting it. Similarly over here you have more positive value in the uh, in the last couple of months of uh, of a year. So that's something what you can create very quickly and as you can see this is a field sales difference from July which is being created and used over here. Also, if you want to review the calculation, it's present here, right? What is a baseline value? What is a measure value? And then down there, they have done this calculation to, to basically give you the output. So all of this calculation, you know, if, if you are not an expert in the power, uh, in the power BI tax formulas, then you will face a lot of, a lot of challenge, right? But with this, uh, you know, they, they are uh, or Power BI team is basically creating a lot of calculations like this, which is frequently used so that you can use or you, your focus is more on producing the visualization rather than producing the calculations. So I think it's a great way or it's a great way to enhance the tool. Something, you know, um, I have seen in multiple tools or even a programming language, you have to create it from the scratch. But I guess these are some of the very, very common things which even I have seen many times people are asking in a report or in a dashboard and we had to do struggles. It's like sometimes even spending even days uh, trying to figure out how we can write this calculation because you have to really have that mindset or 
you know become a core developer not not like a visualization or not like a data analyst but become like a developer core developer to really come to this this level of expertise so that's about it i wanted to share with you so that along with me uh, your life is also simple when you are creating or when you are having a requirement like this and create visualization fast rather than spending time more on calculation so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video